Hi there, this is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we're going to discuss the parallelogram law. Before we do, let's take a look at this parallelogram we have here. I've labeled it A, B, C, D for the four vertices. Now let's go ahead and draw in the diagonals. We have the line segment AD and the line segment CB. Okay. So, the parallelogram law states that the sum of the squares of the four sides of the parallelogram must equal the sum of the squares of the lengths of the diagonals. That's a lot to take in at once, so let's break it down slowly. So, what I'm claiming is that a, b, length of that squared, plus b to d, length of that squared, plus d to c, length of that squared, plus the length from c to a, squared, all of that is going to be equal to the length from a to d squared plus the length from c to b squared. All right, so we've got a lot of stuff here, but thankfully it can simplify quite nicely. We know that since this is a parallelogram, the length of A to B must be the same as the length from C to D. So we can take out this DC term and replace it with AB. AB. Okay. And we also know that the length from C to A is going to be the same as the length from D to B. So we can take out this term and replace it with B to D squared. Okay. But then we can simplify this top part of the equation quite nicely. We have an AB squared term and an AB squared term. And we have a bd squared term and a bd squared term. So what we can simply do is just put coefficient in front of these two and erase these terms all together. So what we're left with is 2 times the length of ab squared plus 2 times the length of bd squared is equal to ad squared plus cb squared. So you can use this to, if you're only given a small number of sides of a parallelogram or you know some information about the diagonals, you can use this law to infer information about the lengths of the remaining sides. One interesting property of the parallelogram law is that if the parallelogram happens to be a rectangle, meaning all of its interior angles are 90 degrees, then this law quickly reduces to the Pythagorean theorem. Try that out for yourself. My name is Ryan Malloy, and we've just discussed the parallelogram law.